Some of these YouTubers have these incredible studios. Guys like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even Kindly Kian. If you look in the background, they have these fancy lights and these shelves and these high definition cameras. Well, old Brandon has gotten a little bit jealous. So what have I done? I bought myself an expensive camera. I bought myself a really nice camera lens. And I even bought myself some fancy lighting. And today, we're gonna build myself a brand new studio. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the studio that I currently have. It's not the worst studio in the world, but it could be better. So this is the current state of the Frustrated Gamer Studios. You can see my whiteboard over there, all the sound foam I have on the wall. Yes, I still use a blanket to cover the windows from the sun. I do kind of have wires everywhere, and this side of the room I actually don't really use right now, but that'll change. You can see my silver play button hiding there on the ground. I still have to hang that up somewhere. And basically, my entire office is a mess. So every time I watch these studio building episodes, the YouTuber always claps their hands and magically the entire studio has been built. So we're gonna try that. With one clap of my hands, I'm gonna rebuild my entire studio and it's gonna be awesome. Three, two, one. <gasps> what the heck, man? It always works for them. I guess we're gonna have to build this thing ourselves. All right, so I got the foam rearranged up on the walls. Now that is all set to go. Now for the part that I am least looking forward to. I've got to tear down my computer, my desk, my microphone, everything that I have over here in this corner and spin it around to face the other way. Oh, maybe I should try that clapping technique again. All right, so I'm in the middle of trying to move this giant L-shaped desk, and it is clearly a two-person job. So should I call someone for help? Maybe should I call Sam to help me out? You know, just give me an extra hand. Nah, we're gonna just force it and try to do it ourselves. Okay, that took insanely long, but I think everything's set up and my computer didn't blow up, which is a miracle. So now if you guys see, I have my desk facing the wall and I have my light and my camera behind it. And then you guys are going to be seeing this side of the wall now. Trust me, I have an idea in my brain. You guys might still be confused, but don't worry. I'm confused too, but don't tell anybody. Okay. So some of you guys might think the next step is maybe setting up my new camera, maybe building the lights for the background. No, 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 no. It's one o'clock. I don't know why I did this. I'm not wearing a watch. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. My stomach is hungry. So the next step in building my office is having a little bit of lunch. So I know in my last vlog, I said that every day for lunch, I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is true but I just ran out of jelly. Well, luckily I found one of these Panera's mac and cheeses at the grocery store. They're actually really, really delicious. No free ads, Panera. I will be sending you an invoice in the mail. There's only one problem with these. They're really, really hard to make. What? I had to wait three minutes for that to cook. I was really hungry, okay? I'm telling you guys, I love this mac and cheese so much. It is the most delicious mac and cheese you can find out there. Oh, not hot, not hot. Oh, I am gonna sue Panera. I will sue Panera if there is no warning label. Oh, what? <laughs> what do you know? There is a warning label right on the front. Caution when taking out of microwave or stove. Huh. What do you know about that? All 
All right, lunch is done. Time to get back to work. The next order of business, I gotta put together those lights. They're really cool, they're tall, they're RGB lights, but I'm a little nervous because they came in like 9,000 pieces and I ordered two of them. Wish me luck, guys. Is this even in English? Oh. <laughs> Never mind, I was reading it upside down. Oh, this is impossible. Yes! I am a professional putter together man. All right, now the moment of truth. Let's see if this darn thing works. This was a pain to put together. Come on, baby. It works! Yeah! All right, it should have different colors. How do I switch the darn color? Oh, there's a controller. <laughs> Is the controller broken? Did it even go as batteries? Come on, man. I paid a lot of money for this lamp. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is awesome. All right, second one is built. Let there be light. There we go. Let's turn this one purple, too. Turn this one purple. Why is it this? Ah, uh, darn batteries. Purple, 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 purple. There we go. All right, so we have the lights all ready to go. Now it's time to set up my camera with the brand new lens. This is the most exciting part for me. All right, so this is the new camera lens I got. This is gonna be super HD. You guys are gonna see every single last pore of my face, every single pimple, and every single imperfection. But that's okay because it's what's best for the channel. There's only one problem. I don't know how I'm gonna get this lens on the camera that I'm filming with right now. I'm gonna have to switch cameras. One, two, three. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now I'm on my old camera, but now I got the lens and the nice fancy camera. Let's get this thing hooked up and ready to go. Oh, here she is. It might not look like much, but this lens was like $400, guys. It was a really, really nice lens because I wanted this to be a big improvement, and I think it will be. So if I turn this camera off and I take this old lens out, Put it down over here, and then I take the brand new fancy lens, and I attach it in here. By the way, if anyone wants to know, I use the Canon M50, that's the lens, that's the camera that I use. It's a really good camera, and it's not too expensive. Okay, it's clicked into place. I think this bad boy is ready to finally hook up, guys. All right, guys, we're almost done, but I have to take a quick break for my podcast. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It's called The Frustrated Podcast. Welcome back to The Frustrated Podcast, episode 44. What's going on, Abby? All right, so the podcast is over. It went great. Everything is pretty much set and ready to go at the studio, other than the fact that I made a giant mess. There are boxes and wires everywhere. I have to clean this up before Sam gets home or else she is going to kill me. Let's do it. Bam, sparkly clean. And now I know for sure that my girlfriend won't kill me. Guys, only a couple finishing touches left and then we can finally see the new Frustrated Gamer Studios. All right, guys, now that everything's cleaned up and set up and ready to go, before I show you the final product, let's take a trip down memory lane and look at all my former setups that I've ever had on my channel. So here is the original setup of the Frustrated Gamer channel. Guys, I was still at my old apartment before I moved into my house that I'm in right now. I was set up on my couch. I had a cheap camera and even cheaper laptop. Wow, good memories, but I definitely wouldn't want to go back there. So this was only my setup for a couple videos. It's when I first moved into my new house. I didn't have the foam up on the walls yet, but this is the same room that I'm in right now, but you can see it's a lot different. So this is a funny picture of me when I had purple hair. Some of you guys might have not even been with the channel at that point. When I got to 100,000 subscribers, I dyed my hair purple, and this is what it looked like. And then this is the most recent setup that you guys all know and love. Now let's take a look at the brand new setup, guys. I think you guys are going to be happy. And here is the final product. Wait, something's missing. 
Bam! Look at that, guys. Frustrated Gamer purple lights in the background. I could also do a little RGB action. I could make them nice and bright and white. I'm super excited about this new setup. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. If you guys have any suggestions for other things I could do, definitely let me know. But you know what? I'm starting to wonder. Should I go back to my old setup? It was kind of nice. Maybe I should undo everything I just did today just to see what the old one looked like. Yeah.